G'day fellow animal aficionados, Dr. Evan here. Our beloved cats and dogs rely on us to keep them in tip top shape from top to tail. So today we'll be discussing some essential topics to help you keep your furry friend in tip top shape, including joint, coat, digestive and dental health. We'll cover some common ailments and I'll show you some tips on how to maintain your pet's health and happiness. By understanding the ins and outs of joint, skin, digestive and dental health, we can ensure that our furry companions continue to run, jump and show off their shiny fur while humming their happy tunes. So grab your little buddy and let's get started. Our pet's joints are like the hinges of a door, allowing them to run, jump and perform all those zoomies. But just like doors, those hinges can get rusty and we need to keep them well oiled for our pets to enjoy smooth moves. Ensuring joint health involves keeping our furry friends at a healthy weight, providing proper nutrition and engaging them in regular exercise. Additionally, preventative care such as supplements and early detection of joint disease can help maintain their flexibility and comfort as they age. Arthritis is kind of like a squeaky door hinge that makes your pet's joints stiff and painful. Their body is creating too much rust or inflammation, making it harder for them to dance the night away. Arthritis occurs when the protective cartilage that cushions the end of bones in the joints wears down, causing friction between them. This friction leads to inflammation, pain and stiffness of the joints. Helping your pet maintain a healthy weight and providing them with joint supplements like glucosamine and chondroitin can support joint health and reduce the discomfort caused by arthritis. Picture a dog with a hinge that doesn't quite fit right. That's hip dysplasia. When your pet's hip joint doesn't fit snugly, making them waddle like a penguin kind of. Hip dysplasia is a genetic condition where the ball or femoral head and the socket, the acetabulum of the hip joint don't develop properly, causing instability and abnormal wear and tear in the joint surface. Over time, this can lead to arthritis and pain. Early diagnosis, weight management and physical therapy can help manage hip dysplasia and improve your pet's quality of life. A ligament tear is like a broken wooden dowel that holds two pieces of furniture together. Just as the dowel keeps the pieces of furniture stable, the ligament keeps the bones and the joints stable and aligned. Without the dowel or the ligament, the furniture or the joint becomes wobbly and completely unstable. Ligament tears commonly occur in the knee joint, particularly the cranial cruciate ligament in dogs. The CCL helps stabilize the knee and when it tears, it causes pain, inflammation and a lot of instability. Injury, obesity and genetics can cause ligament tears and can certainly contribute to them. Treatment options include rest, pain management and surgery, depending on the severity of the tear. Preventative measures include maintaining a healthy weight and providing regular, low impact exercise for your pet. A pet's coat is their finest outfit and their skin is the foundation that holds it all together. Keeping them looking and feeling fabulous is a must, not only for the Insta, but primarily for their health and well-being. If you had to wear the same pants and shirt every day, you'd probably want to look after them too. So to maintain their stylish and functional appearance, it's essential to groom them regularly, choose a balanced diet, and provide parasite protection. Besides looking good, a healthy coat and skin also serves as a protective barrier against infections and environmental elements. So roll out the red carpet and give your pets the superstar treatment that they deserve. Like a bunch of unwashed and uninvited guests at a house party on your pet's skin, Fleas are external parasites that feed on your pet's blood, causing itchiness and irritation. As your pet scratches and bites to relieve the itch, they may damage their skin, leading to inflammation and secondary infections. 
Not to mention they will make a beeline for you and your bed too. So to evict these unwanted party crashes, use flea prevention regularly and keep your pet's living environment clean and free from potential hiding spots for flea eggs and their larvae. Dermatitis is a general term for skin inflammation often caused by allergies, infections or irritants. Think of it like a red itchy Christmas sweater your nan bought you and you can never take it off. That's dermatitis. Dermatitis makes your pet's skin irritated and inflamed, which isn't fashionable at all. When the skin's protective barrier is compromised, it becomes susceptible to inflammation and secondary infections. So to soothe your pet's itchy sweater, your vet will help identify and eliminate the underlying cause and provide appropriate treatment, such as medicated shampoos, creams or oral medications. Mange is a skin condition caused by microscopic mites that burrow into the skin, leading to hair loss, redness, and intense itching. Tiny critters called mites move into your pet's skin like microscopic squatters, causing hair loss and itchiness, which is hardly runway material. There's two main types of mange, sarcoptic mange, also known as scabies, and demodectic mange, also known as demodex. Each type is caused by a different mite and requires very specific treatment. Mites are also a sign that your pup may have another underlying immune condition. So to evict these unwelcome tenants, consult your veterinarian for an accurate diagnosis and appropriate treatment, such as medicated bath creams or those oral medications. Our pet's digestive systems are like magical factories turning their favourite treats into energy and nutrients. But sometimes these factories experience hiccups. So to keep the food factory running smoothly, we need to provide our pets with a well-balanced diet, monitor their eating habits, and ensure they have access to plentiful clean water. Picture that factory's conveyor belt suddenly going in reverse. That's what happened when your pet's stomach decides it's not happy with its recent snack, sending it back the way it came. Vomiting is a reflex action that occurs when the stomach muscles contract forcibly to expel its contents. It can be caused by a variety of factors such as eating something toxic, overeating, or an underlying health issue. Remember just like you, if your pet is sick a couple of times, don't feel that you need to run off to the vet immediately. To help your pet bounce back, keep them off food for about 12 hours then offer small, bland meals like boiled chicken and rice and ensure they have access to clean water. However, definitely consult your veterinarian if the vomiting persists for longer than 12 hours. When the factory's assembly line moves too fast, it doesn't have time to package everything properly. Diarrhea is like that. Your pet's gut rushes through the process, leaving their poop loose and watery. Diarrhea occurs when food moves too quickly through the digestive tract, causing incomplete absorption of nutrients and excessive water in the stool. It can result from dietary indiscretion, food allergies or infections among other causes, or even just eating something bad from the yard. To slow down the slide, provide your pet with a bland diet, chicken and rice for the win again and keep them well hydrated. But definitely consult your veterinarian if diarrhea occurs or worsens over a 24 hour period. In this case, the factory line's moving too slowly and the packages get stuck. Poor digestion and dehydration can cause constipation, making it difficult for your pet to poop. Constipation occurs when the stool becomes too dry and hard, making it challenging for your pet to pass it through the colon. Contributing factors can include lack of fiber, insufficient water intake again, or a sedentary lifestyle. To help your pet's conveyor belt run smoothly, increase their fiber intake, ensure they drink enough water, and encourage regular exercise. 
Movement makes things move. If constipation persists, consult your veterinarian for further evaluation and treatment, just like everything else. Pro and prebiotics can also help promote a healthy gut environment, allowing the good bacteria to thrive and support proper digestion. Remember, a happy gut makes for a happy pet. Our pets' mouths are like musical instruments, creating a symphony of chomps, licks, and purrs. But if their teeth and gums aren't in tip-top shape, the music can quickly turn sour. To maintain a harmonious mouth, it's vital to establish a regular dental care routine that includes teeth brushing, dental chews, and of course, professional cleanings. By keeping their teeth and gums healthy, we can prevent bad breath and painful dental issues, ensuring our pets can continue to serenade us with those adorable sounds and, of course, all the licks. Gingivitis occurs when bacteria in the mouth form plaque on the teeth, causing inflammation of the gum tissue. Picture your pet's gums as an orchestra's sensitive violinists. Now imagine a conductor poking their musicians with their batons while they're playing. Super irritating, yeah? The immune system response to the irritation leads to swelling and discomfort. By brushing your pet's teeth regularly and providing them with dental chews, you can help prevent plaque buildup and keep their guns in line. Now imagine the orchestra's stage slowly crumbling beneath them. That's periodontal disease. Periodontal disease happens when plaque and tartar build up on the teeth and cause damage to the surrounding gum tissue and the structures holding the teeth in place. As the condition progresses, teeth may become loose and even fall out. Regular dental cleanings and good oral hygiene can keep your pet's dominoes standing strong and to attention. Tooth decay occurs when acids produced by bacteria in plaque break down the tooth's enamel, creating small holes and cavities. Kind of like termites being let loose in a piano. Left untreated, decay can reach the tooth's inner layers, causing pain and massive infection. Bacteria in your pet's mouth feast on leftover food and form plaque, which can lead to cavities causing toothaches and, of course, bad breath. To keep those termites at bay, maintain a consistent dental care routine for your pet, including toothbrushing and providing dental-friendly toys and treats. This will get rid of all that plaque and also utilize Subliva, one of your mouth's best bacteria-fighting defense mechanisms. So that's this month's quick tour of pet health. By understanding the importance of joint, skin, digestive, and dental health, we can help our pets live the best lives possible. So let's work together to keep our pets bendy, looking fabulous, running a smooth food factory and playing their mouth symphonies with gusto. So from my clinic to your home, say good day to your fairy mate for me, Huru, and catch you on the hop next time. <laughs>